Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ! Let's talk about the NFL, and particularly, let's start with Kyler Murray and why I know the man's going to start week one, like I think most people do. But I was looking at the numbers here of quarterbacks, right? So quarterbacks taken in the first round, NFL draft, historically 50% hit rate about dudes that just pan out and dudes that don't. But since 2008 to 2018, so 10 years, 32 QBs went in the first round. 15 of them started week one, okay? 22 of the 32 were starting in the first four weeks of the season. Only six hadn't started by the halfway point of the season, and those are Tim Tebow, Jake Locker, Johnny Manziel, Jared Goff, Pat Mahomes, and Lamar Jackson. Only Locker and Mahomes were sitting behind playoff contenders, so we can't really count them. Like, you're not going to sit Matt Hasselbeck or Alex Smith when you make a playoff run. And, you know, to, so when Steve Kime says we didn't draft him, you know, not to start him, we think we can trust him. We think. It, also, my man is like, he he looked like Suge White if Suge White was a was a GM. And I think you would have to walk that out just by looking at his picture. But, look, what I want to know is, who is probably going to have the better rookie season? Baker Mayfield's last year? Or Kyler Murray's this year? So, Corey, having to think about that for a second while you come up with your answer, because I can see you over here going, I don't know. I'm going to lay it out that if they have anything that is close to the offensive line in Arizona that Cleveland had last year, which ain't great by anybody's standards, Kyler Murray's going to have a better rookie season than Baker Mayfield did in Cleveland. If, among other things, no other reason, then he starts week one. Because you got Larry Fitzgerald, who ain't Jarvis Landry, but he's still good. You got David Johnson at running back, who's frankly better than Nick Chubb was, right? He's better than uh, Kareem Hunt now because Kareem Hunt can't play for the first half. week. That's even if he's going to be allowed to play. Andy Isabella was a sleeper get and got burner speed. You can line him in the slot. In the slot. Christian Kirk is going to be a monster at wide receiver. So the more I look at this, the more I'm like, hey, you know, you put Kyler's wheels next to Baker's wheels, and we know that Baker's going to get dusted. So if he's anything like accurate with a football, and he's running a system that he absolutely knows instead of fighting Hugh Jackson until Freddie Kitchens gets the job, yeah, Kyler Murray's going to have a better rookie season than Baker Mayfield. I'm going to disagree with you on this one. Okay. Um, it's a good point, but I disagree for two simple facts. Baker came in and broke a record by Peyton Manning. That was set 1998, the, the touchdown rookie record. And he did it without starting. I think when, did he, when did he start playing? The, the third or fourth week? It was week three against the Jets when he finally got in. Second thing is, Colin Moore, like you said, is faster than Baker Mayfield. He's going to run more. That's going to take opportunities away from him to throw the ball. He's going to be scrambling a lot more. He's going to get downfield. So he's not going to be completing as many passes as Baker has. I'm going to take umbrage with your first point and say that, you know, I get beaten up on Peyton Manning is, is you know, Peyton Manning's name, but it wasn't like Peyton Manning was himself until, like, year three. Okay? So we're, like, just, we're just talking about a rookie record, though. Uh, uh, rookie I, touchdown I, record. Cool. But, like, I hate when people bring up Peyton Manning – in these seasons where he was just getting destroyed. Okay? Like, he he flat he was getting flattened. Now, if Kyler Murray had the same offensive line that Peyton Manning did back in the day, he'd still have a better season than Peyton Manning because he's more mobile than Peyton Manning. Okay? You know, and he's also more accurate coming out of college than Peyton Manning was. Are you sure about that? Go look up the numbers, Doc. You look at that efficiency. Remember, Kyler Murray... Broke Baker Mayfield's passer rating efficiency record and was only skinnily beaten by decimal points by Tua for the all-time NCAA efficiency record. Show me where Peyton Manning is on that list. At Tennessee, when he won with T. Martin's team. But that was a different era of football, though. Oh, here we go. Now there, there <laughs> it, it is. Was. I mean, Whoop, there it is. Right? I, I now you said it. The, the rookie record that Baker broke is in a different record than when Peyton Manning said it. And don't nobody want to say that out loud. See, I laid the trap. My man walks into it right and snaps shut on him. Because I'm tired of these arguments about the eras of football. 
But bro, okay. Records are records. It's a not a more passing league. The, the, you can't touch DB. DBs can't touch receivers the way they used to. That record stood for a long time. There's no rookie that came in and did that until Baker did it. Do you remember it. when the illegal contact rule went into effect? You were still in the league when it went into effect, Corey. Yeah. Was, these children that are playing defensive back now, they grew up with these rules. They don't have to change how they play football. But that argument rule, doesn't rule, hold up. But the rules are made to make it a more offensive game. The rules are made to make it so that the concussions don't happen nearly as much as they used to because the NFL found out that that was bad for their bottom line. Yeah, that's part of it. No, that's not part of it. That's the whole of it. <laughs> because we don't have he – he, he got jacked up on – Sunday morning NFL countdown anymore. We got you got Moss. Right. You can't hit people like that anymore anywhere. True. You can't just go around trucking people and you can't go around putting your hands on people because it's not an aesthetically pleasing game. And you need an aesthetically pleasing game for a TV broadcast because not everybody is there for the X's and O's of football. We're going to archive this one because I think these numbers are just misleading, bro. He, he might have had a better efficiency. His, his one year might have been better than Baker's two or three. I will give you that efficiency wise, but I'm just telling you, I don't see him throwing more than the more than. Okay, why don't you put up Peyton Manning's best year of touchdowns against Kyler Murray's best year of touchdowns? Are we talking NCAA? No, yes, that's all we got. Kyler Murray ain't played professional football yet. <laughs> what do you what do you, what do you, what do you, you want to compare to? I, I was look look. You want to use numbers? You want to right. you, you want to bring up Peyton up. Manning's record? I'm looking it up. Look, and and while you looking it up, I give you this to think about. In an age where we know you cannot come after the quarterback's head like you used to be able to, and you have a Kyler Murray who not only can exist in college football, but was taken number one overall because you believe he can thrive in the NFL, in part because of the new era of football. We're getting towards jump ball in Starship Troopers and less away from Vince Lombardi's, let's whoop him. Let's just run the ball. Jim Harbaugh tried that that noise. Ohio State beat him like he stole something. Okay? You Stanford tried that noise. They got destroyed. Mike Leach's Washington State was playing against Iowa State in a really good bowl game. Washington State was playing for the basically the Apple Cup for the right to win a Pac-12 championship. The age of the air raid is here in large part. Because you cannot play football the way it was played when Peyton Manning played it. So to stack up Peyton Manning's rookie record against Baker's, I was like, cool, that's a cool record, Peyton Manning's name. But it wouldn't mean anything if it wasn't Peyton Manning's name because that's not an indicator of future success. Indicators of future success are completion percentage, are passer efficiency rating. Heisman trophies aren't even good predictors of the future success. Well, that's true. You know, I mean, like, that, if yeah. you want to use numbers that actually are predictive, you're probably going to stay from anything associated with Peyton Manning his first three years in Indianapolis. Okay? All right. You All know? Right. So you, here we go. Okay. Peyton Manning's best year at Tennessee was 90. He had the same rating, 96 and 97. Completion percentage, 63.9. In 96, 60.2 in 97. And Kyler's up around, what, 71? Kyler's last year at OU was 69.0. There you go. With 199.2 rating. So what, was a, Pey- what was Peyton Manning's rating? What was his What was his best rating? His best rating was 147.7. 147.7 versus 199. Yeah. Okay, dog. Okay, Yards, dog. 4,361. By the way, that Alabama defense that eventually got torched by Clemson, but everybody said so good, saw Quentin Williams take it off the board, so forth, so on. Yeah. Didn't he pass for 300 and rush for 100 against that defense? Because that's how I recall it. Yeah. I recall, yeah, he got he got hit. He got hit. By all means, he got hit. It took him a while to get going. They did it? Because I feel like C.D. Lamb was on the end of a lot of those passes, and I feel like, you know, Charleston Rambo went 49 yards to the house. He was, but he, he can't let it get to 28 nothing, dog. I mean, that's nothing. the defense. I mean, it's much. Well, he had four, I, I, he had four series to go out there and put a touchdown up, and it was twenty-eight nothing. Look, like I said, if 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 Kyler has the same sort of offensive line that Baker had in Cleveland, he's gonna have a better season. Just because he had a better season, what many people believe was a not as good offensive line last year than Baker Mayfield had in twenty seventeen. 
with a line that didn't win the award, the Joe Moore Award for the best offensive line in football, but everybody was looking at it going, wow, that's a unanimous All-American at left tackle. You got future pros at every position. Cool. But you gave Kyler the same you gave Kyler the same thing without the Mackey Award winner at tight end, right? And right. what'd you get? You got over 4,000 yards passing, over 1,000 yards rushing. Okay, I get that Baker is the talisman, and people would pick Baker because he's as fiery as fans believe they are, and he's willing to go out there and fight. Kyler's a different cat. But the best quarterback, the best quarterback of the two is Kyler Murray. Oh, it's Kyler Murray. Bro, you on this train hard. I don't, I don't, I don't, I just can't, I can't go there with you, bro. I mean, cool. I do. You got a compelling argument. Thank you. That's my job. If, if, <laughs> if you were to take, if you were to take the pictures off these dudes That's the gig. and put they, put their resumes and everything up, you, everybody would say Colin Murray, but I, it's, it's a lot to be said about Baker's leadership. Yeah. His, his yep. Mommy, I mean, and there's, there's the chip on his shoulder. I mean, statistically is what we're talking about. Right. We're talking about statistically who would have the better rookie season, and you're betting that Kyler Murray's rookie season isn't going to be better than Baker Mayfield's rookie season last year. Right. Yeah. We'll they better. I, okay, for for the sake of your argument, them boys better get old line down there in Arizona. Well, I mean, they didn't have one in Cleveland last year either. So, I mean, I don't, I don't really think it's going to be that big of an issue. Yeah, I mean, I, you'd rather have one than not. That's not what I, I'm saying. That you remember, they got to see Aaron Donald twice. They got to see bro, yeah, <laughs> bro. <laughs> and then when Cleveland comes to town, you got Olivier Vernon and Miles Garrett as your bookends. Yeah, while Christian Kirksey's going to be head hunting. Right. Oh yeah, it's going to be fun. You got Green Williams on one side, Denzel Ward on the other. And Larry Fitzgerald is going to be looking at Kyler going, you better put it right where I can get it. Nah, man. Uh, we'll see, man. We'll see. That was, that was, look, you you changed my mind. I would have said easily no, Baker, but. Yeah. Hey, look at there. Uh, that, that, that meme with Steven Crowder just came through. Changed my mind.